hands to myself here so today I wanted to film for you guys this Valentine's Day inspired hair and makeup look I'm in love sorry my eyelash just got like stuck on my lower lash line sorry but I love this hairstyle as you guys can see it is just these tussled beachy sexy type waves um <laughs> sexy I don't know but um yeah so that's basically what they look like I use the Moroccan oil products and I actually did a first impression in this video so I hope you guys check those out because I really did like these and you guys see how I use them and whatnot um they were sent to me but trust me all opinions are my own 100% my own I wasn't forced to say anything yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it I they smell amazing so not only is your hair gonna look great for Valentine's Day but they're gonna smell it's gonna smell bomb and it also smells so amazing but anyways I also have these brushes from Coastal Scents, um, which you guys will see later on. Um, if you guys are into purple as much as I am, check them out. These aren't my favorite brushes, however. I do like the Morphe ones and the Sigma ones a lot better, but these did the job for me. So if you guys are looking for more affordable brushes and you can't really spend the money on Morphe or on Sigma brushes, get these Coastal Scents ones. So without further ado, let's get started. Guys, so first off, what you want to do for this hair is to use your Moroccan oil beach wave mousse. I just got this actually in the mail, so we shall try it out and see how it goes. So this is sort of like a first impression. So this is sea salt free, which is really good because sometimes sea salt is just really. It feels like it's like damaging to my hair when I use it in products, just like sea salt sprays. You know what I mean? Do you have to shake this products? Shake. Shake it. I don't think this is right. Oh, this is, it smells like a very handsome young man. I can't even explain it, really. It's like when you feel it in your hands, it's a bit creamy and like heavy. A bit not that heavy, but like you do feel it working into your hair. I definitely do feel the oils. My hair feels a bit more hydrated than it was, of course, because this is also a mousse, but you feel why it could be used as a texture texturizing spray because it is a bit like tacky but not too tacky to the point where you're like this is gross and sticky because most of the times with beach type hair products they definitely make your hair feel gross and disgusting but yeah so then you are supposed to leave it to air dry so I'm gonna do just that <laughs> what it looks like right now I do have a bunch of other products that we're going to be using, but for now, we're just going to be styling our hair and curling it, um, and I will show some clips of that. So when it comes to the curling part, you want to use about a 25 millimeter barrel on a pretty high heat setting. I put about 180 degrees Celsius, but only leave it on for a couple of seconds, and then once you release it, you want to pull through your hair so it creates that really effortless, loose wave type of curl. But then after that, to loosen up a little bit more, you want to brush through your whole entire head. But yeah, so now we're going to be using the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. Um, this one is going to add, of course, texture, soft, pretty feel, effortlessly done. I want that so bad for my hair, and it will give it um, some moisture as well because it does have some dry argan oil in it. So we're just going to spray that around our hair. This product also smells really good, um, and this really is adding texture. And believe me, when, this stuff, when I tell you this stuff smells so good, it really just smells absolutely amazing. I have some like in my mouth right now. Ugh. After this, we want to finish this off with the clay. So I'm going to finish fixing my part and then moving on to the clay. I like how it feels right now in my hair. It is making it a little bit less um, big like I wanted it because as I was brushing it, I was like, wow, this stuff is creating great volume, but I don't want that much of a look. But yeah, so it does feel really nice. I worked it all pretty much into my hair. As for your hands, it is a bit drying to your hands, but not by much really because of the argan oil, the shea butter, and whatnot, but I think it's just the clay factor. Um, but that is basically it for the textured waves that we have going on here. Here is an overview of the hair. I love it so much and I'm so excited for you guys to try it out. If I love it, I'm sure you'll love it, so definitely check it out down below and now on to our face. Why are my cheekbones look so sunken in? Why are my face look so sunken in today? 
So to start off this look, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer um, all over my face, and then using my Coastal Sense Brush Affair Vanity Collection 22 brush set with a current face <laughs> um, all throughout this tutorial in case you're curious about those purple babies that keep on popping up in this video. Um, so yeah, they're like a whole purple cute set and I really do love it. But now I'm going to be using my um, Graptobian HD Glamour Cream Super Palette for my face, but I was going to cream contour first, but I was like, wait, we forgot foundation. So I used my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W5 with that beautiful, I love these brushes so much, they look so pretty. Um, but yeah, so we're using one of those flat brushes to do so, to just apply it all over, but then we're going to be pressing it more into our skin with this Real Techniques brush coming up right now. Just wait for it, there you go. <laughs> and then using the flat side to really press everything into our skin to really just blend, blend, blend. This whole tutorial all throughout you hear me um, exaggerate blending. So now we're gonna be taking a warmer, darker shade um, that is a lot darker than our skin tone and hitting that up onto the sort of, what is this? The hollows of our face, the places we want to be um, a lot more warmer, bronzed or contoured. So we're gonna do that on the nose, on the sides of our chin, our jawline, our forehead, just places either the sun hits or your bones would sort of be, you know, sunken in a little bit, if that, you know what I mean? And then with a small detailed brush, I cannot get over how pretty this purple is, we're gonna be taking a lighter shade and applying that under our eyes, bridge of our nose, middle center of our forehead, Cupid's bow, and our chin. So you will see me do that. I've never cream contoured before this, and I really liked how it turned out. Um, so yeah, I really actually do like it now. I didn't like it before. Didn't think it was really a great idea, but it kind of, you know, it's good. You can really do all the same with powder, but whatever. If you want to go that extra mile, just do it. So we're using different sides and ends of the brush to blend out our cream contour and highlight. So um, you don't want to mix them up together. If you know what I mean, you don't want to get the dark and the light because then that just messes everything up. But um, yeah, so continue to do that and then set everything. Um, here I'm using another Coastal Sense brush with my Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade Banana and applying that onto the higher points of our face and then um, using an angled brush to add the bronzy shade to set those darker parts of our face. This one did have a little bit of blush on it so hopefully I got away with it but um, my bad. <laughs> I just wasn't, wasn't paying attention. Um, and then we're going to be setting everything else with this huge Morphe brush which I love. Uh, with this L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder. The Pro Matte Powder is absolutely my favorite, like my newest all-time favorite powder ever. And then with our Color Switch Wheel from Veramona, we're gonna be using that to clean up this brush real fast because it did have something on it. And now we're going into our Tartlet Palette in the shade Sweetheart to really act as our, as our transition shade. I love how it looks um, with this whole entire look. You really do need a transition shade when you are working with darker, more daring colors because you really do want it to look all blended and nice and pretty. So keep on doing that, and remember blending is key. If it takes you a while, then it takes you a while. As long as it looks good, um, you know, blending should really be your priority for this tutorial. Now with our BH Cosmetics 26, I believe it is, I'm not really sure, blush palette, um, comes with blushy shade eyeshadows, and then some blushes. Um, we're gonna be using this brush to pack on this shade to the outer V of our eye. Do not worry, do not be scared. We are going to be blending, blending, blending. <laughs> Once again, if you guys count up how many times I say blending and put it down below, you win. Okay, nothing, but that'd be pretty cool to see how many times I said it. I always said it a lot. So yeah, continue to blend once again. And then with this brush here, it looks like a MAC 217, I'm gonna be taking the shade Rebel. Sorry, I just fumbled with my words. I'm trying to go really fast, cause I just edited this all really short. I tried to be as short as I can because this tutorial is way too long. <laughs> but we're going to be taking that and working it on the outer part of our eye. It's creating a really nice fluffy airbrush look on the outer part of our eye. Because once again, blending is key. <laughs> I'm so annoyed with myself and saying blending all the time. But it really is. Like I can't stress it enough. So now with the shade Funny Girl, we're going to be using that with our finger to pack that onto the first half of our eye. Um, we really did use a lot of shades in the Tartlet palette in bloom. I love it. I really do love it so much. But then we're also going to be blending that out and then packing out a little bit more after we foil it on another brush and bring it in to the center. Well, no, first half of our eye. So yeah, now with the shade Charmer and Flower Child, we're going to be highlighting our brow bone. I did already apply my brows though. 
so you guys have seen me do it a lot of times um, so yeah I'm sorry I didn't include it here and then we're gonna keep on blending I'm so sorry I keep on saying it oh my bad and then setting our brows with this Anastasia brow gel and then back in with that whiny type uh, pinky purple color applying that onto our lower lash line followed by this pencil brush filled with the shade Sweetheart to really just make sure that the lower lash line looks like it was taken care of um, and like blended out and mended all together. So now with this Tardis by Tarte clay paint liner, I'm going to be taking that on an angled brush and creating the wings for this look. Uh, but since gel liner is pretty difficult for me now for some reason, I used to do it all the time when I was in middle school, it's the only thing I knew how to do. Uh, I'm going to be going in with my Jouer liquid liner, it's a kitten liquid liner, and it's really good, it's actually pretty nice. But nothing beats my Stila Stay All Day liquid liner, we all know that. <laughs> but now we're going to be cleaning up the wing um, to make it sharp <laughs> with the foundation. And then applying my favorite mascara ever, do I, do I really have to like say what it is. It is the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but this seriously is my favorite mascara. And applying that onto our top and our lower lashes as well. And then going back with our blush. Well, no, I didn't apply it yet. And then going in with our blush. This is Warm Soul from MAC. It's so nice in exaggerating your cheekbones naturally and not being too pink or or shimmery or anything like that. It is seriously my favorite, absolute favorite blush ever. Now with this brush, we're going to be taking it um, and dipping it into this highlighting powder by Bobbi Brown. This one is in the shade Pink Quartz, I think. Or am I making that up? No, it, Pink Glow. That's what it is. <laughs> Sorry, and hitting up the high points of our... I keep on saying hitting up. Like, you know, hit me up on my cell. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm everywhere. Just apply it on the high points of your face. And you can see this luminous, lovely, pretty glow. So then we're going to be applying the Coco Lashes in the shade 102 with some dark lash glue and applying that with tweezers. Of course, they're pink because I wear pink everything. And then finishing off with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Dainty all over our lips. I really do love the shade so much. You have no idea. It looks so good with this entire pinky Valentine's Day look. So we are finally done. This is what it looks like. If I ever finish applying lip gloss. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So thank you guys so much once again for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the links down below. As well as all the products that I used um, on my face. If you guys are curious, it will all be down there. Um, I also advise you guys to check out my last video. Because I last video because I worked super hard on it and I really hope that you guys enjoy it too um, and then also follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. I love you guys so much and have a great day. Mwah.